black boy, little black boy. Didn't even have to rap, triple smack a bad boy. Don't you know they use their heads sometimes? I'm Troya from Wilson, North Carolina. What inspired my song, Black Boy, was really just the events that I was seeing around me. And it was really for my little cousins. Like my first verse in Black Boy is for my little cousins. And the second verse was kind of for what's going on in the world. I've actually had that song for maybe about a year, just sitting on it. So it's crazy that, you know, it's so relevant right now. And my covers are actually all my little cousins in the back of my cover. So they're so into my music. And that's kind of what inspired me to keep pushing. You know, at this point, it's not about me. It's about letting the youth know that, you know, they could be anything, do anything. Um, so they're so inspired. So now they sit back and like try to recreate my videos or want to be in my videos or so I actually hired one of them to kind of do my behind the scenes just to kind of get him in the groove. He's 10 years old, just to kind of let him know that he could be anything, do anything he want to, um, that he want to do. So what inspired the video was funny is I actually have my family, all my family's in the video again. I actually went through a period of time where I was just rapping about anything. You know, I didn't have no direction. I just knew I wanted to rap. And then I felt like God, like I kept praying, praying for like something, like even this opportunity here, you know, nobody don't really know my music. You know, I'm just starting. So I just had to find myself and figure out my lane and try to tell a story. You know, not really, I'm not really gonna be the club rapper, but something that you can sit back and listen to. And I could tell you like the experience of somebody. I just wanted to tell a story of two boys growing up in the same house and choosing two different paths. And the twist of the video is the one who chose the right path still uh, gets killed by a police officer, um, ironically. Um, so just wanted to tell a story that's, it's kind of like every day, you know? A lot of times we have like families growing up in the same household, but we choose two different paths. But also showing how even doing the right thing, you still, crazy stuff can still happen to you. Black boy, little black boy, you better watch your back, bulletproof your hat. Hey, don't you know they at your head sometimes? Police be shooting at your head sometimes. Black boy, little black boy, didn't even have to rap, dribble, smack a backboard. Don't you know they use their head sometimes? All of my brothers use your head. They use your head. So there is just basically saying, we don't just play sports, you know? We use our head sometimes. We don't have to just be an athlete. I know you traumatized, but I can't stand to look up in your mama eyes. Tell her that her son died the same way that his daddy died, a homicide. But this time, this won't no beef. He won't hang in them streets. Them shots were sent out by police. He won't even 21. He had more life he needed to see. He ain't even have a gun. See, this ain't how it's supposed to be. Buddy, hit him in the chest, hit him in the head. Charges got dropped, didn't go to the feds. Wouldn't he believe what the judge had said? They found him not guilty, wrong side of the bed. So in that verse, um, I was just saying, you know, a police officer can get off the hook for just waking up on the wrong side of the bed, you know? But we don't get to wake up on the wrong side of the bed, you know? So this is uh, Tariq, Tariq Hudson. Um, story of Tariq, 22-year-old from Wilson, North Carolina, software engineer, very smart guy. Um, gets a job in Glen Burnie, which is like Baltimore area. And there, he's getting threats by one of his neighbors. 56-year-old white man. Tyreek felt threatened, you know? So Tyreek actually went to the courthouse and tried to put a get a peace order and was denied that peace order. Two months later, he did what he said he was gonna do, you know? His neighbor killed him, murdered him. I feel like if the tables were turned, if a 56-year-old white man would've went to the court and asked for a peace order on a 22-year-old black man, you know? No doubt about it, he would have got that. And I feel like that peace order could have saved him. And um, I dedicated this song, Black Boy, to Tyreek because, you know, we both from the same town. And ironically, I was actually in Baltimore uh, around the same time that he was there too. So it kind of like hit home. I didn't know him, um, but I speak to his mom often, you know, and she, she can't sleep at night. You know, that's her only son. That's her only son. And, you know, the system failed him. So it's, it's bigger than just police brutality. It's about, educating ourselves and voting. Me too, you know, voting for it, making sure you're getting the right judges, the right police or police chief and stuff in office. Um, it's bigger than police brutality. So, um, yeah, I dedicated Black Boy to Tyree. Rest in peace, Tyree. Boy, you gotta stand up. Ain't enough to stand out. God gonna take you through some things. Just still bring that man out. And I say, Black Boy, Black Boy, do you know just who you are? Do you know that if you look up 